Evening guys, welcome to this first video on this channel um, Exploring the world of Train Sim World 2 um, I'm going to be taking you on the line from Ride Pier, ha uh, Pier Head to Shanklin on the Isle of Wight um, A little bit of background, it's an 8.5 mile uh, track um, Using Class 483 um, former London Underground service um, units that have been converted and um, repainted and rebranded in the livery um, of the operating service on the island. I'm going to start with a free explore, but we'll pick up a service at Ride Pierhead. I'd like it to be clear so you can see a bit of what's going on. Um, apparently, minus 7.8, so that sounds a bit chilly. As you'll notice, the NPCs don't really care what weather it is. They wear shirts and shorts occasionally, even if it's howling down with rain. So we'll go from there, and um, we'll ask us where I want to start. I'd like to start right pier head. Um, I'm going to start about 20 to 8 in the evening, so it will be a little bit dark, um, but it will make it interesting for where we're going to be visiting. Um, we'll hopefully, we'll be able to see plenty, um, and hopefully, you'll enjoy the video, guys. Um, we're just loading up now. It takes a little bit of time to load up. It shows you all the other things you can see, and here we are, right pier head. Now it's night time as I said, About 20 to 8 in the evening, and you can see there's the pier head, I've already collected a few ice creams, so these little bonus features you can do as you go. So right pier head is the terminus of the service from Portsmouth, we'll be doing the summer southbound scenario. As you can see, look out to sea, and it's somewhere along here, somewhere we can't get to because you've got an invisible wall. Is the service uh, the catamaran ferry service to Portsmouth? Um, this is pleasing to see a little bit of extra detail. There's a bus, obviously, people just pop out of it through the doors that don't open, get past these guys. Uh, that's an engineering interruption scenario. I'd rather not do that, I'd rather show you a little bit more of the island if I'm honest. So, oh, can't go through there. Apologies for this, guys. I'm going to click the wrong way about things as ever. In any case, let's begin with the summer southbound scenario. So whatever I started with, it'll take it away anyway, I'll make it night time. So basically this will be a service now from Ride Pierhead to Shanklin. Um, I think it's an, it's an eight stop service across various different stops. All a little bit quirky, but interesting. Usually it's about the 26 minute journey, so bear with me. And um, for anyone who manages to get to the end, thanks for staying with me. You know, it's, it's, um, it's one of the games I've enjoyed the most over the Christmas and lockdown periods really but yeah here we here we go uh, we'll begin oh. here and this is the class 483 service as you can see it's an old London underground unit it's been painted out in Network South East livery oh. and um, as ever we'll begin here so to climb up the stairs but you can clearly see to climb down them there's a few instructions on how to start the train you just have a sit down and you've got the master key on. Uh, it's a little bit fiddly in terms of getting the camera in the right place, but eventually you can get the master key lever to go on, which it activates the power. Now the door unlocking is a bit quirky on this one. I, I can't always find where it is. So what you can do, you can press the left on your D-pad, and that will open the doors. And if we zoom out, you can see there are people coming. Chap in a business suit. They all seem a bit dressed up for the beach today. Now, the NPCs. There's one thing I'd ask the, the developers to change, the NPCs. And I appreciate there's a reason why they're not so detailed and why they're not so interactive is the fact it would, it would lead to lag, frame rate difference. But there are little things, you know, this. They're waiting on a platform that's not going to have a train come. The arrivals from Shanklin going into Ride Pierhead only come on platform one on this game. So I've got a lot of people waiting here for no apparent reason. And it, it is one of the things that attracts from the game's realism in some ways. Although on the next clip where we're going the London commuter service, there was a bit more hustle and bustle and people on that, realistically. Whereas as another video later down the line on the Great Western Railway, when you could go to Reading or London Padding Station and no one would be there and it just feel a bit empty and a bit devoid of reality. So passengers are on board. I will leave it till 30 seconds to go. In the interim, I will start the train up with the reverser key on. 
the break to be released because you see the gradient is zero and actually i will put that on hold just in case in a couple of seconds i will um i will close the doors here we go they've waited there for 20 seconds not doing a thing and these guys will probably still be here when the train comes back later on the master controller there is what controls your speed. There's a few settings, shunting, um, full series. I believe there's a middle one, which I can't quite remember the name of. But in about 10 seconds, we'll be heading off um, down to the Espalade, which is the next stop, and it ends far away. So get to see soon enough how we can stop this train. And naturally, it's not moving. And I haven't set the reverse of forward, and that'll be why. There we go. Set the reverse of forward. I haven't... Brakes released. Sometimes a little bit, um, a lot to remember, but eventually you get the hang of it. Now you can use interactive features to do that, but I prefer to do this. It's a lot easier to do. I will just slow the train down a little bit because we are over speeding somewhat. Let's have a look at the view. This is a unit I would like to ride in real life. You can see you've got the pier heading in towards the beach. For some reason there, of course, I hadn't done everything it wanted to be to. And so, there uh, is a notice there that I had set off about the brake being released and everything. So, yeah, apologies for that. But we are on our way. Um, we are a little bit behind schedule as a result of that. Um, it would be nice if there were passenger announcements on this game. And maybe they'll release a patch for that, which would be nice. But as you can see, we're about to arrive into Ride Esplanade Platform 1, which is your main stop in Ride for the beach and the beach town. I will put the brakes on in a second. I know we're approaching the stop. We're trying to pick up a little bit of time. Let's put it on EP hold, which is the minimum brake setting. You can see it does slow down the train, but not quite enough. So EP min will slow it down a bit more. And then just release the brakes a bit so we can get to this pre-designated point that the train likes us to stop at. There we are, coming to a complete stop. I'm going to leave it on hold because of the gradient. Doors will be unlocked. And let's see if anyone's getting off or on. A couple people getting on down the back. No one seems to want to get on the front with me. So we'll be a couple of seconds behind schedule. Um, let's have a look in here. There's quite a few people on this bit. Hello there. Evening, sir. And no one in this carriage. But you can see, you can see how... Um, it's been kitted out, like in the London Underground one. But you can see they've changed the, the route maps on it, which is a nice touch. I'm all about nice touches on um, simulation games that add to the reality of the situation. Um, and i found a few of these games to be a little bit unrealistic. This is much better, um, but the NPCs are definitely something that needs to be worked on. But maybe that will come in time. Let's lock the doors. Let's release the brake and let's move off to Ride St. John's Road. Now we're just going into this one. Ride St. John's is the main station for the town itself. We pick up a bit of speed. Let's release that natural gradient will pick us up. We're going to switch lines. And now we're going into the Ride Tunnel. The Ride Tunnel, interestingly, um, is why we're only allowed to use these class 483s on this line national rail services national rail type trains would be too big because this has to be set quite low but also be raised at the same time in order to avoid flooding we are over speeding a bit pull the brakes on but the natural gradient which is point one will slow us down a bit as well and in i have forgotten to put the headlights on i do apologize I bet all the passengers are sitting in the dark as well. There we go. Cab light on. That's much better. So we're going to need to gain a little bit of speed, but we have got plenty of speed bringing us down from that hill. Well, let's give it a little nudge. With one of these units, um, it is a lot of toing and froing. It reminds me of when I've been on canal boats. There's a lot of toing and froing and just 
managing the speed whilst you're around this 20 miles per hour mark. Um, these speed, these units can gain speed up to about 20 miles per hour quite quickly, and then it's more difficult after. You'll see in a section in a second after this stop, there is a 45 miles per hour section where we can gain a bit of speed and traction, but it does take a while. So here we are coming into right at John's platform two. Should be expecting some more passengers to get on here, um, depending if they're going to Shanklin in the very far north, which um, or to Lake, which uh, both have access to nice beaches, I've been told. Now approaching Ride St. John's, let's turn the master controller off. And let's come to a natural stop if I apply the brake to EP hold now. It's all about practice with this, I've not played this, this unit all that much. Um, but I've enjoyed it a lot because of, you know, it is quite a nice train to drive, it responds well to controls, and it's not too um, cumbersome, there's not much to it in terms of the... Let's open the doors. Left doors unlocked. Let's see who's getting on. And again, some NPCs inexplicably standing at a platform where no trains will come and go. Especially that man in the business suit, I think he's going to be late to work. So as you can see, the behaviour of NPCs is quite generic. Um, little touch there, he looks like he's missed his train. I mean, it is a bit like a pantomime, isn't it? If you look behind you, there is a train. And let's check this carriage. And there's one man on board. And there's a few more passengers on here. So we're closing the door shortly again. As you say, we are around 20, 30 seconds behind schedule. But I think in terms of national rail and especially in terms of um, Northern, that would probably be uh, worth a bonus for the executive shareholders back in the day. A couple of seconds, we'll close the doors. Let's have a look. All safely shut. And let's release the brake and move off. Now we're going to be heading via Smallbrook Junction. And this is one of the stations when I was looking into this line that were quite interesting. In the sense that um, there's no access from anywhere else to this station. And the reason for that is it is part of a steam rail network. And passengers getting onto that train would usually get this one to get off there. There is no road, there's no path, and there's nothing really around it. In when I've looked on Google Maps anyway. And... Um, yeah, so it's an interesting station to stop at. Um, I have had a few mishaps in the past on here, where I've um, been tempted by the possibility of going at about 40 miles per hour. I'll try and get up to 30, and I get towards Smallbrook um, Station, I'm still going around 25, and um, in terms of passenger comfortability, you don't want to slam the brakes on too much. I'll uh, be quiet for a minute whilst you enjoy this view, and we'll shoot out of the cabin in a second. Let's have a look what's around, shall we? map. It's a small book junction coming up. You see that would go off to nowhere. You wouldn't be allowed to go any further than that point on the map. So I'm going to bring the speed down a little bit. So I know I do have a station coming up after the small book junction. I'm going to keep on shunting just because there is a bit of a slope that is increasing. Yes, a small jump, and there we go. So after small book junction, there was a very sudden stop. This time, I've managed to get it right. I think I'm approaching a little bit slower than I wanted, so I have lost a bit more time. But hopefully, these guys getting off here won't have missed their steam train, and these guys won't have been waiting too long. 
Interesting station, though. I'm always fascinated by stations with one platform and one line. I stopped for these guys. It's quite a gradient, isn't it? I see how many are getting on. So as you can see, there isn't really much around here. But there's the steam railway. There's passengers coming off the steam railway to enter into here. Either to go to Shanklin or to ride. And there we go, there's another NPC just stand right by the train, not knowing whether to get on or not. There's a f one more passenger on there. There we are, the steam railway unit. And I believe that that might be the terminus of the steam railway. If anyone could be out of white, could write in and let me know, that would be fantastic. And now we've got three people all waiting. Although my assumption is now, if this was real life, they're all waiting for the ride service. And uh, uh, there we are, that's apparently me. I also look gormless and a, like a lobotomy victim. There we go, let's close the doors. Release the brakes and let's head off. Next stop in two and a half miles, braiding platform one. What I could find out, it's a very quiet area. Again, any viewers from the Isle of Wight want to ring in and uh, ring in, I say, write in or comment and tell me that I'm uh, talking absolute twaddle about these towns. Absolutely keep keen to hear from you. We can pick up some speed now because it's a 45 miles per hour limit. We have got time to make up. Let's have a look. Here we are. The good thing about using the controller is using R2 rather using the R and L buttons just to control the brakes and the acceleration whilst you're exploring. Nice to see who's on board. It's always nice to have, and that adds to the realism a little bit when you've got a, quite a full train. There's a table. Enjoy the ride, guys. a habit, let's blow the horn. As you can see, it doesn't really speed up all that quickly, but it does respond to brakes well. So it is a really nice unit to drive. I'd recommend it if you do get train sim 2 to have a real good feel with this, this train. And you can see how these units, these class 483s, were perfect for the London Underground. Um, easy to control, easy to stop. And now we're approaching the station and we've got a negative gradient of 1.3%. I will release the um, acceleration. brakes on a little bit. We are gathering speed quite quickly even though the acceleration has been turned off. Again for Isle of Wight viewers, it wasn't until I actually played this game and, and did this route that I realised just how varied the terrain is in the Isle of Wight. I did have an impression it was flat. There um, I got that totally wrong. Let's release the brakes a little bit. Make sure we keep some momentum. So we are behind schedule, but again, I don't think it should be too much of an issue. Unless you've got a ferry to catch, of course. In which case, we apologise for the inconvenience. 0.8 miles to go, let's maybe give it a bit of power. 
I see where we are. Graphically, the game's better than previous installments of Train Sims. Um, anyone from either White can tell me is this a realistic representation of the areas between stations, and I'd be happy to take comments on. Ooh, let's slow down. Not far to go. We've got a speed limit coming up and a red signal, which hopefully will change by the time we get to braiding platform one so we can continue our journey through. And back to the subject of graphics and inclusion of scenery. I would imagine you can't include hundreds of details or infinite details because of the frame rate. That's just the limits you're working on. I think my biggest bug there, you've probably heard, is the NPCs, and they're uh, they're not very realistic. But there's enough of them to make it feel a bit more like it's an actual service. Running a minute and a half behind. Oh dear. I have found I'm better at services between long distance actually. Such as the Great Western Line from London to Reading. I'm a lot better at that in terms of keeping timekeeping. Right, now arriving into Braiding, platform one. I notice there is a platform two, but there isn't actually a line um, serving it. Again, if anyone could pass comment on that from the other way, I'd much appreciate that. Oh, this is very busy. Let's have a look. Yeah, so look at that. It's clearly this isn't used anymore. And there isn't a line close enough to it. Does it have any insignia denoting that it's platform two? No. So this must be an unused platform. It's interesting to see outside of the station. This looks like a nice um, township or village. Oh, it was a control centre. Very interesting. There's one or two more coming on. There's a lot of people waiting for a train. I'm assuming they're waiting for the the ride pier head service. That's a lot of people not getting on this train. It's going to be a busy unit on the way back. Right, doors locked. And off we go. People have missed that train if they wanted it. We are just sat there to be fair, wouldn't they? Okay, we've got an interesting conundrum here. But we do have a sta station at Sandown in 1.7 miles with a 15 miles per hour limit in 1.6. Memory served me correctly. This is a bit more of a complex junction, but we'll soon see. I have read that they would like to create a double loop on this this line for this. Because as you can see, it's single track. But from what I read from timetables, that timetables are at such that you're not going to have trains interfering with each other in that sense. Take a look at the driver. Who is me right now? Again, he has the same emotions and same, well, same NPC face, and they do always do this left to right looking. When you explore as a cat, as a, a passenger, you sit opposite NPCs and they don't react to you. I don't think they react to anything. It is like it's a room full of empty souls, which is how. Uh, if you've ridden a northern rail or we've trained rails for long enough, that is how you feel to be fair. It's uh, 
pull the speed off a little bit. We're approaching the speed limit, 45 miles per hour. We're also not far away from the 15 miles per hour limit, so we will need to bring the think about bringing the speed down in then maybe about 200 meters or so. Just passing over a bridge above a township. Looks like it's becoming a bit more built up as we're going further towards Shanklin. Here we're handily able to use the gradient a little bit, but we are going to need to put a little bit of EP hold on. It looks like I slowed down a little bit too early. Let's give it a bit of welly. That gets about 20, and then the natural gradient at 1.3% will, I think, slow me down in time for the 15 miles per hour limit. Oddly, the slower the limit, the more serious you take it, I find on this game anyway. Now, as you can see, this is a main junction on the Isle of Wight line. I can see another train in the distance. That'll probably be the one the passengers at the previous station were waiting for. So again, it is like a uh, canal boat in the sense of uh, having to do minor adjustments to the speed every now and then. So this is an interesting junction. Just passing some houses. As you can see, here's the junction here. It seems to be a free platform station. Let's let the train naturally slow down. Again, two and a half minutes late. I've lost a lot of time today. Probably through my own dilly-dallying. But I hope you're enjoying. And we're only a couple of stations away from Shanklin. Let's pull the brake on. Release it a little bit so we get a little bit further down the platform. And there we go. Doors unlocked. So it's probably the busiest junction on the line, apart from at Ride Pierhead. Now, interesting. It's got a subway. That does surprise me. Can you get out that way? Probably not. Does that lead anywhere? anyone's from here, what's the town like? Looks quite nice actually. Okay, that seems to be everyone loaded. Um, this is more bizarre because this train's only going in that direction. What are they all waiting for? There's a few people getting on. We've got a couple of seconds. Let's have this view. Off she goes. Ah, 007 as well. <laughs> Little things in life, eh? Okay, we can speed up to 45, but there's no need. As we do have... Oh, I do have a bit of a speed limit break there again. So we will be starting at Lake Platform 1. And apparently that has got good access to the beaches, so if you want to get off there, feel free. So this seems quite a climb, actually. It's quite a steep grade, isn't it? Waiting for that indicator to tell me I can go 45 miles per hour and I can put a bit more welly in this, this service. It's a lovely climb. Nice houses on the side of the rock.
windows open in COVID times, ladies and gentlemen. Approaching Lake Platform 1. Let's ease up on the brake a little bit to give this train a chance of pulling in. Three minutes behind now. I will get better at this one day. I'm having fun. Lake Platform 1, but there is only one platform. These little intricacies of um, old stations. As you can see, it used to probably did used to have a second platform. getting on here. See how far you can go up, you can have a look round. Looking really for the sea. And to be fair if there's a pub around. Nice houses though. Footballs, trampolines. <laughs> little side effects as well, little dog barking as well. There's a trampoline. There is a free camera option on the um, classic settings, which I would like to use to explore a little bit. Hopefully I can find that at some point. Again, this is bizarre. Unless they've just arrived and wanted to go to ride Peter Head, I don't know why they're waiting. But, you know, it's about driving the trains, I suppose, at the end of the day, and not about the um, lifeless NPCs. Let's close the doors. And we will make our way to Shanklin Platform 1, where this service will terminate. Release the brakes, and off we go. Ooh, she should be on, be on the other line. Naughty. Where it lacks in NPC detail, I think it really makes up for in the detail of the trains, um, the liveries. Um, I'd say the most impressive livery is on the Gatwick Express or the GWR services, which I'll take you through at some point, but I'm impressed with the livery, the um, attention to detail, weird little things like you can do that, that's, that's a little bit bizarre, but you know, it's the way it is. But approaching Shanklin, um, which is the final service on this, on this um, final stop on this service. In essence, thanks for watching guys, um, it's my first ever time of broadcasting content, I've never done it before, um, and if you want to leave a comment, or if you, want to, if you want to watch more videos like this, or if you've got suggestions, um, feel free to send them in. Um, the routes I have available, um, I'm tending to do the UK routes, so at the moment I have the Bakerloo line, the Great Western Express from Paddington to Reading and um, which includes the high-speed service and also the commuter stopping service. I have this one obviously and the London commuter service which is probably the longest one I've got which is from London Victoria via Gatwick to Brighton. So any suggestions anything you want to see I'm happy to have a go and see what we find. Um, it's been a pleasure. This is one of my favourite games on the PS4. Um, it indulges my my passion for rail travel, for exploring different part, parts of the country by rail. Probably like a young Michael Portillo, except I'm playing it on a PS4. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining in today, guys. Um, again, feel free to leave any feedback, any comments, if you've enjoyed it, if you've not. If you just think I'm a strange strange guy from South Wales who needs to get a bit of a life and not sit on video games pretending to go on trains feel free to send them all but um, I'm just here for a bit of fun and enjoying myself so um, hope you enjoy let's uh, slow this train down because it is a 0.5% gradient coming into the station and it's the terminus station so there's no going back if you hit this too fast and yes that is a suggestion 
I could hit it too fast and see what happens. But here we come into Shanklin. Let's put a bit more brake on so these people can get to ride at some point today. And there we go. Stand up. It's a bugbear. You can't seem to open this door. Now these guys can't be waiting for another service. So I don't know what they're doing. Dovedale could explain what the... Uh, Ah yes, route maps get added if you walk past them. So that's our route we've been on today. As you can see the NPCs. I'm going to go out on about them a lot. I can tell me to shut up about them if you want, but... Oh. It is strange, isn't it? There's a train right there. Oh well. Let's get back on board. There might be a little bit of a shutdown procedure actually to this. Let's lock the doors. 